Hello fellow citizens, welcome back and thank you for joining me today. Alright, welcome back, thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to go take a look at the new starter ship, the Drake Cutter. She comes with two size 1 Bulldogs, four size 1 Spark 1 Missiles, size 1 Hex Shield, size 1 Power Plant, that is the Light Blossom, size 1 Blast Shield Cooler, and a size 1 Firefox for the QT. Let's get out there, let's take a look at it, and we might go do a bounty with it or two. So we're going to put her through her paces, we're going to take her out on a test flight, this is my first time actually getting inside of it. Uh, but we're going to take it out for a test flight, see how she handles, and then maybe go do... God, it's so ugly. It, it... It looks like a grasshopper with no legs. You, you can't tell me it doesn't. It looks like a grasshopper. Um... But anyway, we're going to go take it on a test flight, take a tour of the inside, and try to do a bounty with its size ones. Oh no. <clears throat> that sounded very Drake. Alright, small little cargo hold. Not terrible. Where's the... There it is. Close. Okay, so it's not just a normal button. Okay. So we've got most of our components right here. Single entrance and exit, it appears. I mean, it's not a bad little cargo hold. It'll do what? Four SCU? It's not bad. Not bad at all. And then we're epping the crew. Little corner potty. Alright. I don't know how I feel about that being right under the sink. Very claustrophobic in here. You can lock yourself in the bathroom. It's kind of amusing. So this apparently has a little reading light. Let's see if we can access it. Oh, yeah, there you go. How quaint. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It almost looks like there's supposed to be a fire hydrant right here. Some shelves. The storage locker. Again, not terrible. And then the cabin. And the light turn on. No, the light switch does. Oh, wait, there it is. It's just a slow flicker. I mean, it's it's not terrible. You got your weapons rack up front with you where it makes sense. 
Yeah, it, it's not terrible. Let's take it out and see how it flies. Viewports aren't aren't too bad. Got a window up top, nothing down below. Let's look at the dash. Where's my on off switch? Deploy. Canopy armor. What? That's cool. Enable G safe, okay. Proximity flight assist. Exit. I don't see a manual power. Make your flight ready. Request takeoff. You are paid to I mean, it takes off nice and smooth. Let's put her through her paces, see what she can do. What do we have? 10 noise and 96 decoys? That doesn't seem right. That's got to be a glitch. Actually, that turned pretty well out here in space. So I'm gonna say probably not the worst. Definitely felt better turning and I felt worse. All right, let's find us a bounty to do. Are we gonna do a VHRT in it? You know what? You only live once, right? This is not going to end well, but we all know I don't like fair trials. All right, so it looks like it's gonna be an in-atmosphere bounty, so we'll see how this goes. We'll see how she actually handles in-atmosphere. Hmm. All right, let's go get us a bounty. And we'll see how tanky she is, since this is a VH. Prime up our four strikes. Or sparks, sorry, or spark missiles. Start on my headlights so we can test them out. These missiles apparently have to be really close. There we go. Well, so far we're off to a good start as the missiles did not strike us. My shields are already down. Taking damage. But again, we all know I don't like a fair test. I don't like using ships for what they're intended for.
And we all know I like to do VHRTs with ships not meant to bounty hunt. Why is my shield not regenerating? I mean, it doesn't necessarily handle that, even in atmosphere. Which is kind of fantastic, because I hate how all ships seem to handle in atmosphere. I don't seem to be taking too much actual damage yet. I don't have any red. But these two size ones... Definitely gonna upgrade... Probably to ballistic size twos, mantis or something. Because I'm just not doing damage. I just rammed it, and I'm still not even in the red. This thing's got a tanky little hull. But with these size one cannons, I just broke through their shield. Make sure I'm not going to hit the ground. Alright, I'm starting to go red. I'm starting to hurt. And this Valkyrie is just getting tickled. So. Definitely not a VHRT. At least not on stock. Yeah. I would not take it out on a uh, bounties. Two size one weapons. Just. Yeah. Maybe two size two ballistics. I mean, I took a lot of damage. I'm not gonna lie. That was a lot. It took quite a while of me getting hit to turn red. So it's a tanky little bug. But in the end, the grasshopper was not enough. Not a terrible little ship. It handles really well. I'm quite impressed with that. But I don't know, practicality wise, maybe not. Uh, I would use it as a starter for, like, cargo. Maybe even bunkers. Not bounties. But that's just my opinion. I'm impressed with it, that's for sure. I mean, it's a nice little ship for what it is. I did not think I was going to like it at all. But I really have no complaints. For what it is, it is, in fact, fantastic. Everybody has, you know, their own opinion. Everybody's opinion is going to be different on it. It did better than I thought it was going to. Let's just say that. So that was, that was the little grasshopper. That was my honest opinion of the grasshopper. I'll have to spend more time in it doing more things to get an accurate opinion on what I feel but it handles really well even in atmosphere it takeoff was really smooth I'm sure landing is also smooth it could have been worse it could have been way worse but thanks for joining me if you made it to the end let me know what you think of it in the comments below have a good one